What's going on, Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another episode of the strategy series. This time, we're going to talk about how to counter skillless. So, this is the second strategy series video this week. Uh, usually, I don't do that too often, but we do. We did have this at the request of one of these subscribers. So, shout out to you for asking uh, for this video. Uh, I wanted to get it to you guys right before PPG Dallas. It's some valuable information. So, I do feel like this is some good stuff to know going forward into that event. So, with that being said, guys, before we get into this video, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell to stay up to date with awesome Dragon Ball Super content that I post here. If you're looking for a Dragon Ball Super community, check out the Discord in the description below. Excellent group of people that help you out with anything you need. And finally, guys, if you're longtime fans of the channel, and if you want to get even better prepped for PPG Dallas, check out the Patreon in the description below. Lots of competitive articles, and it really helps the channel out. So, with that being said, we'll get right into this video. So we're going to talk about how to counter skillless and even though there are several forms of skillless even though there's the yellow blue and red builds that are all very popular for the most part they take the same counters right because the the engine the core engine of the deck is usually the same it's just the different kind of splashes and different tech options they can play depending on what color they are but for the most part a lot of the same counters are going to work against most of the same variants so uh you see on the big left side there we got the super shadowrun leader uh i will say that this that the skillless deck can hold its own against the storm variant of super shadowrun with nimbus with bean with the value combos they have everything's basically a plus one in the skillless deck it helps them out combo things but the height build which you see height being the last card on this list the height build does give skillless a pretty hard time because when, when they get tapped out there's not too much they can do you know a smart skillless player will hold that awaken until they get heighted, until they get tapped out. But like if you're playing blue, that gives you access to bean, but then you gotta have other good combos from there. If you're playing yellow, you only have access to nimbus, you don't have access to battering because you only do get one energy. And then when they skip turn, you you can only nimbus you can only nimbus one of the turns, uh, one of the two turns with height, and uh, you're gonna get hit for probably nine damage, uh, and you have to be able to out combo that. So uh, it's pretty tough for skillless to play in super shiner on height. So if, if skillless is a deck you want to beat, I think height is a deck to play. But if you're not looking to play super shenron, if you want to play some other strategies, there are some more general cards you can play that I'll talk about in just a second. So starting off the list, there's a lot of black support that does hurt the skillless deck. Kami is one of those cards. Kami is a very powerful card against skillless for a few reasons. One of which, uh, except for like the, I think the red build has the fastest kill potential. Blue sometimes if it hits the right cards, but. Uh, skillless is not usually going to kill you very fast unless you're cutting a lot of your own life. And a lot of decks this format are not really doing that too, too much outside of like Super Shenron. Uh, the skillless mirror match definitely is not cutting too much of its own life. And then like give other decks that are just a little bit slower like Panzeno. Kami is a great sideboard card in these in these decks. I feel like I've been talking about Kami a lot in the past few how to counter videos. And it hasn't been super duper good. But in this, and against skillless it is actually very good. Because if you catch them over committing to the board they're just going to lose a whole ton of resources. And that Kami is going to net you back a card. So for th basically for 3 energy you get to get rid of your opponent's whole board. And that's just really really valuable really powerful. Crisis Crusher. Honestly, not a lot of people side this card in against Skillless, except for Super Shenron. But this card is actually really annoying to face down as a Skillless player. Just you, your your best as a Skillless player, your best games are when your one drop can just sit there and accrue re, and accrue advantage and just bring out undercosted beaters. So if there's a Crisis Crusher sitting there and I have to deal with it as a Skillless player, it does throw my game plan off. It it does harm me. It does stop me from stabilizing. So, so Crisis is another great sideboard tech against uh, the Skillless deck. And then we have the five drop Mass Saiyan. This is a card that's starting to see play in a lot of skillless decks themselves because it is very good in the mirror match you know you can usually clear two to three battle cards with this card every single time you drop it against a skillless player so uh, it is very high value in that matchup but it, it does swing for a 20k double strike another thing that the skillless deck does not like too much is tall swings because they do have a fine time comboing out of tall swings for the most part but the big thing is that it does start to cost them cards from their hand to do so you know even one 5k combo is just, it's just one less card they're gonna have to defend with later on and it's a, one or two less cards they're gonna have to kill you later so Mass Saiyan is super high value in that matchup. Then we come into the blue. We've got Borgos, and I'll talk about the Whis as well. You know, the energy hating Borgos and Whis. Uh, the blue variant of Skillless especially hates these cards because they want to make a lot of aggressive plays with Sensu Bean. They want to like drop a Krillin and then like Sensu Bean to untap energy after Awakening and then use the one drop Goku to bring, about, bring out a 30k. That's one of the ways that the blue build goes very wide. And Borgos and Whis just really turn that off. You know, the, the Skillless deck doesn't have too many answers to it outside of like Android 8. But giving up, I've talked about this before, giving up your one drop Goku just to pop a Borgos or a Whis is not high value at all it's very very bad for the skillless player to do that or to be in that position to have to do that so borgos and we are very good for that reason then we have king yemma as well as the krillin ability unleashed those are just two of the cards we talked about before uh they're not the best cards in this matchup by any means but it is an interesting idea if your deck has no better options because shuffling back your opponent's vanillas and shuffling back your opponent's one drop gokus means that they can't recur them off of 
uh, power burst and they can't recover them off of Aider Raid. And that is actually pretty relevant because the, the thing about the skillless deck is that it's all high value. Every single card in the deck gets you a new card. And power burst and Aider Raid are no different. So if you can get rid of their power burst targets, if you can get rid of their Aider Raid targets, King Yama and Ability Unleashed Krillin are actually pretty decent cards. Uh, not the best ones, but decent nonetheless. So Dragon Fist is here to represent basically all of boss monsters. Uh, Skillless is not really a huge fan of dealing with boss monsters, especially if they have barrier, because that means they do have to beat into them for the most part. You know, Skillless doesn't really have any barrier removal. So we do have the 30Ks to beat into these barrier monsters. However, you know, we're gonna have to commit resources if we don't want you to out combo it, because if I attack a 30K beater into this Dragon Fist, one super combo is gonna get you out of that attack for basically nothing. You're gonna net a new card and I'm gonna have basically done nothing with my turn, right? So for that reason, boss monsters are kind of annoying for the skillless deck to deal with. And then we have Shocking Death Ball. Shocking Death Ball is a great card in general, no matter what green deck you're playing. It's very, very good against skillless because of the Krillin package, right? The Krillin and then whatever two drop vanillas you decide to play. Shocking Death Ball is very good in that regard. And then we have the Broly Limits Transcended. So this is another boss monster, but in general, the green Broly deck is kind of annoying to deal with as a skillless player. I've talked about this in uh, deck profiles. I've talked about this on the Patreon articles. Uh, you, there's so many cards in this deck you have to play around as a skillless player. Just to name a couple. You got to play around the Broly Pops. You got to play around Nimbus. You got to play around Shocking Death Ball. You got to play around Cold Bloodlust. Those are just some of the cards you got to play around when you're, when you're piling skillless against the Broly deck. And uh, it's definitely not... It's definitely not too heavily favored in Broly's matchup. You know, if the skillless player knows what they're doing, it can be more 50-50, maybe 60-40 in Broly's favor. Uh, but the Broly deck is very annoying to deal with as a skillless player, just from my own experience. M2, basically the same thing as Crisis Crusher. You've got this the removal of the one drop every single turn. It's really, really annoying. And honestly, M2, in my, in my, I, I said this before, in my opinion, M2 is just one of the best one-ofs in the game because when you see it, it's just such high value. Uh, basically, a free 5k combo every single turn is just way too good. And against against Skillless, which you need to play as a value matchup, you have to play to outvalue them, uh, M2 is one of the best cards that's going to do that for you because you're just going to constantly d drop them by 5k. They're going to have to waste more and more cards to defend, and eventually, hopefully, you, you should come out on top. Revenge of the Fall. This card is generally good against Skillless as well because when you have things like 30k uh, beaters swinging for a game, uh, you just drop two Revenge of the Falls and they die. But it also represents the baby deck. The baby deck, the leader basically has a built-in M2, which is obviously very good against the one drop, like I keep talking about. If you haven't picked it up yet, removing the one drop from the board is one of the key pieces to winning the game. You just cannot let them get free value every single turn, and Revenge of the Fall and the baby leader in general are very, very good at doing that. Is that all you've got? Another red negate that does it has sort of a similar purpose to Death Ball, but it's also really good against the, the builds of Skillless that want to go wide, particularly red and particularly blue. Because is that all you've got can stop three attacks for two cards, you know? You negate one attack, you decrease two other things to a non-threatening amount of damage, and then you're good to go. And even if you decrease two 30Ks to 15, they're still way less threatening, and it only takes one 5K combo to combo out of them. Because any other instance, for the most part, a 30K either demands a negate or demands that you combo out of it. So uh, that card's very, very good for that reason. Now we have Crusher Ball. Crusher Ball is good against the skillless matchups. When they drop the 30Ks, you bring them in rest mode. It's almost as good as a negate in that instance. But it's also very good against Demigras. The Demigras Secret Rare is one of the boss monsters of many skillless decks. And if they drop that, they're going to rip four cards out of your hand and probably going to render you without any plays to make for the next few turns. So they're probably just going to out-resource you that way. That's one of the big ways that they can rip resources from the opponent. Crusher Ball pretty much answers that card inherently. Some skillless decks do sideboard minus Killy Zone, so be wary of that. And that, that brings up another good point, is if your deck can play the Demigross Seeker Rare, I don't know if you're playing Hercule or some type of announcer deck where you can drop it if you're playing some type of World Martial Arts tournament with lots of announcers. Whatever the case is, if you can play Demigross in your, in your 65, and that's going to be a very good card against Skillless because in that instance, it usually will come out to a race to who can get the Demigra first. So if you can drop that, you can have a good opportunity to beat Skillless. However, be wary of the yellow Skillless variant because they will be playing a card like Crusher Ball. Nimbus is one of the best cards against Skillless as well because it lets you go wide. Uh, sorry, it stops them from going wide. That's what I meant to say. It stops the Skillless build from going wide, so it's particularly good against the red and blue build as well. Yellow does have access to Bad Ring, but that means if they Bad Ring you, they're discarding more cards, which is also good for your case. So uh, Nimbus is generally good against Skillless no matter what. And I've said this, I said this actually in the AOD video. Uh, Nimbus is probably the best card in the current format, and yellow is probably the most well-positioned color in this format. So if you're playing yellow, you're doing you're doing something great so guys those are the cards that i come up with to counter skillless because a subscriber did request them shout out to him again for asking for this video if you guys have any better suggestions drop them in the comments below let me know what you think about these suggestions thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time good luck at ppg dallas
Hey, what's going on, Dragon Ballers? Thanks for watching that video. If you'd be so kind to drop a sub, maybe check out some of our videos. If the end card is even there, you know, the hardest part of doing YouTube is, is not the editing, it's not the videos, it's not the content creation, it's that YouTube just doesn't want to work sometimes. So hopefully that stuff is there. You guys are awesome. I'll see you in the next one.